Hello and welcome back to another video. We're out on a trail run today and as you'll see from the title we're heading up to Stanage Edge which is one of the most beautiful edges in the Peak District. Stunning views from up there. The route I've planned is around 12 miles today. I've started in Habersage at the outside outdoor shop mainly because they've got a banging cafe there so I'm gonna have coffee and cake there after. Look how beautiful this weather is. It's going to be very windy there is a massive storm forecasted for the next two days and I think even today we're forecasted 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts on the tops so there might not be much talking from me but I'm still going to show you those stunning Peter Street views don't you worry so yeah I'm getting out of breath talking to the camera so we're going to crack on and I'll catch up with you along the way and I'll show you this beautiful part of the Peak District because I haven't done too many videos around it so I hope you enjoy it thanks for clicking on this video again and I'll catch up with you throughout the route. just made it up onto Stanage Edge and what a view absolutely stunning today forecasts are giving cloudy all day originally so I am taking this sunshine I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well because the wind is pretty crazy up here so we're just over five kilometers into the run now just ducked out of this wind very quickly the plan now is to run all the way along Stanage Edge up to the trick point and then we're going to drop down to Upper Burbage and um, we'll go up to Higger Tor from there and then we'll drop all the way down over to Surprise View which is one of the best sunset spots in the Peak District it is absolutely beautiful past Mother Cap down to Padley Gorge down to the river and we'll head along the river back up to Habersage where we'll be having a very nice slice of cake and coffee so yeah that's the rough route plan from here the view from up here today is absolutely amazing I live on the other side of the Peak District over towards kind of Kinder Scout, uh, the Goit Valley over that way and it was horrible there this morning it was blowing an absolute hooli and it was really grey and cloudy it looked like it was going to rain and I've come over to the east and we've got amazing sunshine and that's where the storm's supposed to be coming from as well yes yeah, absolutely stunning today it's a good place to see the route from here actually so Havisage sits just down here in the valley and I've come all the way up the valley here all the way along here We've hit this uh, little road here and there's a little car park where that little woodland is and then we've headed up here to Stanage Edge. And that over there, you probably won't be able to see it, but that's called High Neb and there's a trick point there as well. If you're doing the trick point challenge in the Peter Strip, there's a walk that you can do around here where you bag quite a few trick points. So it's just a stunning spot. It gets very busy. 
but yeah i do love it up here we only ever filmed one video up here which is kind of mad really it was a really bad video so yeah hope you enjoy this one a little bit more right i'm gonna stop talking because i need to get down to habersage because i'm meeting the lovely Heb who's running over from sheffield in the cafe so i'll catch up with you probably probably over towards Higgatore because over there another outrageous view out of the wind kind of you still probably can't hear me i've dropped down now from stanage we went over higator down to surprise you mother cap and now i'm heading down towards hadley and how dreamy is this little grassy trail here it's absolutely beautiful all the autumn colors are coming out now as well it's been a really really nice run it's been so beautiful but yeah we are now coming up to 12 and a half k in so we should only have five or six k left but yeah i'm dropping down into the valley now the nice thing about this run is once you get up to stanage it's pretty much downhill the whole way but yeah we're dropping down into the valley once we hit the valley we just follow the river all the way back up to uh back up to have got the name of it then but this section of the run I walked down here not too long ago and it is just absolutely beautiful. I've forgotten what the woodland's called, but it sits just below Surprise View. 
and oh, it's just so beautiful down here. So I'm going to leave you here, catch up with you at the end now, so I can enjoy this beautiful woodland and so I can show it to you as well. to the end of the run now we're about a kilometer or two outside of Hadesage so a really nice end to the run along the river trees are turning nice and orange autumn is definitely in the air however I've been in shorts and t-shirt all day the sun has shone for the whole run and it's been absolutely beautiful loved every second of it this route and this area is just stunning highly recommend it that would be a great walk to do and the nice thing about this area is you just have endless possibilities and for today's run i did plot a route before i went out haven't looked at the map once because i've just kind of followed my instinct and gone with the flow and just kind of taking the trails that i feel like taking it's so nice to do that because luckily i know the area very well it's been absolutely stunning the trails are really nice at the moment they've dried up a little bit because they were really boggy at the weekend i but i don't think that's going to last for long because like i've said a few times We've got a monster storm coming in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know I've had a really big break. The last proper video I uploaded was my hike across the Lake District, which was over two months ago. There's no particular reason as to why I haven't been filming. I've just really enjoyed having, you know, a nice break. I've been getting out every single week, been to Scotland, Wales, uh, Lake District, been to all sorts of places. And it's just been so nice to kind of live in the moment and just fully enjoy it. But now that the winter months are coming back, I'm picking up the camera again. I'm going to be doing heaps of videos. I'm going to try to do one every two weeks, maybe even one a week. We'll see. But yeah, there's going to be plenty of content coming over the next few months, which I'm absolutely buzzing about because I've really missed it. But I do really, really appreciate all of your love and support. It really does mean a lot. And I can't tell you how much all of your comments mean to me i just get some absolutely lovely comments and genuinely they make my day so thank you so much i hope you've all had a fantastic summer and you're able to get out and maybe you saw the sunshine once because it didn't just because it didn't shine much in the peak district but yeah i'm gonna end the video here thank you so so much for watching hope you managed to get out and enjoy this autumn weather stay safe during the storm and i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>